So Bradford City have today confirmed their first January signing of the transfer window. Tyreek Wright has returned to the football club on loan from Plymouth Argyle for the remainder of the 23-24 campaign. And in today's video, I'll be bringing you guys my thoughts and opinions on this news. If you do go on to enjoy, please make sure to drop a like on there for me. If you could try and hit 90 likes on today's video, that'd be massively appreciated. Subscribe if you're new as well. We're on the road to 8,000 subscribers, so please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already with that post notification bell on it's free to do so and it does massively help out get your thoughts in as well down in the comment section down below let me know down below your thoughts on this signing obviously Tyreek Wright spent the second half uh, sorry the first half of last season with the Bantams on loan from Aston Villa he was unfortunately recalled I think we had the opportunity to sign him for a pound or that was certainly the rumoured fee he ended up going to Plymouth Argyle he backed himself it really hasn't worked out for him there I think he's been playing left wing back for the majority of his time there they since got promoted into the championship and he's been really limited in terms of minutes so it's great to see him back at the football club so make sure to drop a like on there for me subscribe if you're new as well and let's get into it now this seems to have completely come out of the blue with Graham Alexander saying on Saturday that no transfer business was imminent either incomings or outgoings and within 48 hours of that we now have our first sign and it's taken us half of the transfer window to get it but it certainly is a pretty good signing or at least on paper Bradford City tweeted today at 5.30 p.m. saying Tyreek Wright returns to Bradford City on loan from Plymouth Argyle for the remainder of the season. The article does then read, Wright returns on loan. Bradford City AFC is delighted to announce the return of Tyreek Wright, who arrives on loan from Plymouth Argyle for the remainder of the 2023-24 season. The pacey winger will spend the rest of the campaign at the University of Bradford Stadium after a fruitful spell on loan from Aston Villa last term. Wright, 22, netted four goals in 17 appearances for the Bantams before being recalled by Villa and making a permanent switch to home park 12 months ago on rejoining City he said I'm absolutely buzzing I know what it is like to be here and it was a no-brainer for me to come back with all the love I got from the fans last time I played my best football here and every game I played with a smile on my face I feel like I let people down a little bit with the way I left last January so I'm here to repay everyone it would be nice if he came back on a permanent basis we're going to speak about the fact that it is only a low move later on in today's video he carries on to say though I'm looking to get double figures in goals between now and the end of the season and help the club at climb the table. That is a big statement. Usually when players are asked about what their aims and ambitions are, it's just to try and help the team as much as they can, try and play as many minutes as possible. But he set himself a target, and that's quite a big target as well. Double figures in just over 20 games remaining. That's nearly one goal every two games. He's backing himself to get into that team firstly, because we know Alexander is like with his rotation and all that sort of stuff, and he's backing himself to score goals as well. I'm a big, big fan of that. I definitely have unfinished business here, and I'm looking forward to finishing it between now and the end of the season. I'm buzzing to walk out in front of the fans again and hear my name called out. I will try to do my best for them. Manager Graham Alexander said we are delighted to be bringing Tyreek back to the club. His work rate, pace and goal threat will be very valuable to us giving us an extra dimension to our attacking options. After speaking with Tyreek it was clear he was highly motivated to play for us again. I'm really looking forward to working with him. Wright will wear the number 36 shirt. Obviously the shirt number that Sam Stubbs wore last season obviously Wright had the number 36 32 last year, I can't for the life remember who our 32 is this season, but he will wear the 36 throughout his loan spell and be sponsored by Bingley Bantams, his signing is subject to the relevant EFL and FA clearances, so Graham Alexander's comments there, quite short and sweet, but it is great to have Tyreek Wright back at the club, it feels like a long time ago since he last played in a Bradford City shirt, because so much happened in the second half of last season, and so much has happened so far this season as well, obviously the biggest thing is we've had a change in manager, we're no longer playing a 4-2-3-1 under Mark Hughes, we're now playing a 352, a 343 system under Graham Alexander, and right for me fits into both of them systems, especially the 343. I think if you play him on the left side, he gives a completely different option to what we already have. Alexander likes to play left footed wingers on the left side and right footed wingers on the right side. So if you look at our left footed options, we've got Bobby Poynton and Adam Wilson. Poynton is a very weird attacking player because he's not necessarily quick for a young player but his skill set is very good you know he's very good technically he seems to be 
pretty confident in his own ability as well. He looks very comfortable on the ball. Adam Wilson is a bit more of a 1v1 winger. I certainly think he's more of a right winger to cut in on that left foot and I don't really see him getting game time under Graham Alexander. So to have a natural left footer to play on that left side, I think this one could be a very, very good signing for us. He brings some pace as well. We have a very, very limited amount of plays. You've got any sort of pace in this team. So he certainly brings that in abundance. Obviously, with him joining from another club, but Plymouth Argyle also tweeted at 5.30pm saying Tyreek Wright has joined Bradford City on loan for the remainder of the season. Good luck in Yorkshire, Tyreek. Now, their article does read that Tyreek Wright joins Bradford on loan. Tyreek Wright has joined Bradford City on loan until the end of the season. The winger will head to Yorkshire, having found opportunities hard to come by this season, with only seven appearances for Argyle across all competitions. We wish Tyreek well for his loan spell at the Sky Bet League 2 side. Obviously, last year had a very good spell with us. Our article briefly mentioned it. Four goals, and I think it was two assists, and it was was very disappointing to see him return to Aston Villa in January and then be sold on to League One side Plymouth Argyle. Not only was it very disappointing, the fact that we then replaced him with Thierry Nevers was probably, arguably, even worse as well. But Tariq Wright, he's back. He's officially a Bantam once more. It's just a shame that it's not on a permanent basis. With the big money we got in for Harry Lewis, the potential big money we could be getting in as well for Jay Young, I feel like Plymouth would have potentially accepted a five-figure fee. I feel like he's someone who they clearly don't rate because he's not getting any game time there. They've had a few managers as well recently, with obviously Schumacher leaving the football club. And I feel like a lot of the Plymouth fans don't really rate Tyreek, right? Maybe if they're in League One, I can understand them wanting to keep him because he's obviously young and he's got the potential. But I personally don't see him making it at Plymouth Argyle in the Championship. So I don't see why we couldn't have tried to maybe go in for this move on a permanent basis. Now, potentially, Plymouth might have priced us out of a move and that would be more than understandable. I think he's a good player, but I don't think he's someone who we should be spending over the odds for. Obviously, we'll have to wait and see what happens with some of our other players. It is a little bit interesting that this has been announced at half five. I'm hoping that comes six o'clock. Obviously, this video will be out way after that, but at the time of recording at quarter to six, I'm hoping that by six o'clock it's not news that Jake Young has joined Carlisle for £25 and a packet of Watsits or something like that. But we'll get on to Tyreek Wright's statistics then from this season and briefly from his spell with the Bantams last season now. So, so far this season then for Tyreek Wright in the Championship, he has just managed the five opportunities, only the one start as well, averaging 20 minutes per game. In that time, he's created at 0.24 XG, missing one big chance as well. He's Average 12.2 at touches per 90 with a 79% passing accuracy, 92% in his own half and 58% in at the opposition half with 50% of his long balls being accurate and 50% of his chip passes being accurate as well. He failed to attempt a single cross throughout his time with Plumber Fargyle so far this season. Defensively, his stats aren't particularly great as well with only 0.4 interceptions, 0.6 tackles and 0.4 clearances per game as well. He did actually manage 1.6 at balls recovered per game as well in the limited amount of opportunities that he had with the Pilgrims so far this season, also averaging 0.4 dribbles per 90, 67% of them have been successful, which I think is very, very good for the championship. If you bring that down to League 2, that's probably going to end up converting into like an 80% dribble rate, which I think is absolutely brilliant, in my opinion. He won 53% of his ground duels and 25% of his aerial duels as well. But again, all that is in very, very limited game time. So I think it makes much more sense, in my opinion, to speak about his Bradford City statistics from last season. According to SofaScore, he averaged a 7.08 match rating in the 15 appearances that he did make just the 12 starts averaging at 75 minutes per game uh, he scored four goals averaging a goal every 281 minutes uh, averaging 1.1 at shots per game at 0.7 at shots on target per game as well he missed three big chances but he had a 24% goal conversion rate and some of the goals that he scored were very very impressive in my opinion I think the first one that he scored was against Stevenage a brilliant strike on that right foot obviously it does take a deflection he scored a nice goal at home to Harriga at home to Swindon and away at Harriga as well clearly loves a goal against Harriga I don't know when we play them but hopefully we've got them coming up soon. He also picked up two assists last season for us, averaging 34.7 touches per 90. He created five big chances, averaging 1.3 key passes per game as well. In terms of his dribbling stats, he did only average 0.3 dribbles last season per game, and only 44% of them were successful. So maybe it's because he was playing more, or maybe because he's developed his dribbling ability under Steven Schumacher, and I don't know for the life of me who their new manager is, but I don't think he's played much recently under him. But especially under Steven Schumacher, he might have been able to develop that which obviously be a positive for us and I just hope that it does end up being a successful loan spell for him because we saw with Dion Pereira he spent the half of one season with the football club and then 
He, the second part, when he, he rejoined the football club last season, he struggled for minutes. He could barely even get on the bench at times as well. And I really hope this doesn't happen for Tyreek Wright. We don't want to see that once more because Tyreek Wright, he's very liked by the fans, just as Dion Pereira was. So I'm really hoping it doesn't go that way and it ends up being something like a Josh Cullen where he has two successful loan spells with the club. Again, it is a shame that it is only on a loan basis. We'll have a look then how the team is now lining up. Now, me personally, I didn't really think we needed someone in that role. Obviously, it's only a loan as well. So I think probably more than likely now, Rayhan Tullock will definitely depart the football club. I think if anything was slightly in doubt about that. I think this move definitely does confirm that because we don't need three left wingers potentially. I know obviously Chapman and Tulloch on the graphic would probably play on the right now under Graham Alexander but their best natural position in my opinion would be on the left wing. I still think we need to get some players out the door as well. I would love to get a new striker in as well and maybe move on an Oliver, a Derbyshire and who knows what is going to happen with Jake Young. But my overall thoughts on this move, very excited to have Tariq right back at the football club. It's a shame it's not on a permanent basis, but it is still a very, very good recruit in my opinion. I'm going to leave it there then for today's video. If you have enjoyed, please make sure to drop a like on there for me. Could turn it 80 likes, uh, 90 likes, sorry, as I said at the start of today's video. That would be massively appreciated. Subscribe if you are new as well. We are now on the road to 8,000 subscribers, so please make sure you are subscribed. If you haven't already, with that post notification bell on, it's free to do so, and it does massively help out. Get your thoughts in as well down in the comment section down below. Let me know down below what are your thoughts on Bradford City re-signing Tyreek Wright on loan from Plymouth Argyle for the remainder of the 2023-24 campaign. Thank you very much for watching today's video. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you very soon for another one. Peace.